Hello watch fans, Beth here watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1970 Corum feather watch. Now if you like your watches to be unique then this is truly unique. We don't mean they only made one feather watch, they made several. Some had peacock feathers and others like this one has the feather from a scarlet ibis or ibis. Now that means that every feather is different and the black part of the feather is only found on the very tip of the uh, wing feathers. So this specially selected and this this bird is not endangered in any way either so that's not a problem but it leaves this unique dial and you're probably not going to see just all the lines on the video but there are it is the feather it's not painted it is the feather take a lot of skill to do that now Corum have a lot of skill the case is all 18 karat gold the movement is nicely finished you can see there's a garnet or ruby stone set in the crown uh, the movement is actually based on a Pursue 7001 which is always a good sign and it's a little larger than it looks on the video it's quite a, a long watch there is a wrist shot at berthierwatches.com to see what it looks like on the wrist. The strap is new and we've refitted the gold plated Corum buckle to it. But when are you going to find another? You're never going to find another with that same pattern on the dial. You might find another one with a red feather, with red and black, but it won't be the same. This is unique. You can see more on this watch, including close ups of the dial, at berthierwatches.com. We've put the link in the comments below. It's also worth looking at the wrist shot and just how nicely finished this is. But all Corum watches are nicely finished. They're becoming a bit of a favourite. Maybe not as a daily wearer, this, but I'd certainly enjoy wearing it, and I have. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like seeing interesting vintage watches and we'll see you again next time.